what is up guys it's another beautiful day in the caribbean um today we're gonna be taking the car out for a drive i'm gonna be checking the boost solenoid which i installed a few days ago um since the video i haven't driven the car i haven't started the car um i did make a few, I have my laptop with me um i made a few changes uh, on the map offline um so the fuel in the car might be a bit off um not gonna be doing much tuning today. I'm um, basically just monitoring the the boost with the duty cycle increase, uh, and unless the the FL ratios get really really out of whack, um, anything from 11 to about 12 is okay to work with. It's not ideal. It's not where I would like to keep it. I prefer keeping it somewhere in the mid to high 11s, um, but for the purpose we're just gonna leave it wherever it is unless it goes really little or really rich we're not going to adjust that um so yeah stay tuned for updates to start off with we're gonna do a pull um, with no boost control whatsoever um, I already did that uh, let me flip the camera over and I'll show you what exactly is our starting point That was the second gear pull. Um, we rode around a really small, really narrow, really windy, so we're only doing second gear pulls. Um, let's look at the laptop and we'll have a look at that data log. Okay, here's the map, well, the log of the last second gear pull. We went wide open throttle, about 2000 RPM, and we at that point we have like a pound and a half of boost which is 11, 111 kPa boost slowly builds, we hit our peak which is about 160, 158 there about um, somewhere around 4,000 4, RPM that carries we have a little creep going on somewhere, where is that? That's 5,900 RPM. Stays, creeps all the way up to 10 pounds. So we have about 1 PSI of creep. But our baseline is about here. So with no boost control, we have 59, 159 kPa, which according to the log is 8 PSI. So we started off with 8 PSI with no boost control. We're going to start off with 30% duty cycle and then we're going to see where we end up. Okay guys, so it's the following day. Um, that's going to give you a recap of the previous clips. But you would have already seen it, right? Yeah. So what ended up happening was that... Um, boost pretty much was not being raised um i figured maybe the sensor the solenoid was bad it actually turned out to be that the routing for the solenoid was actually it wasn't wrong um well the two ports that i used were correct but just that i had the the lines on reversed um so what you would have is the common port Port, which is port 2 I had it go into the intake manifold it had to be going to the wastegate and then port 3 which I had going to the wastegate need to go to the, the manifold if you do it any other way the boost will not raise um, I would like to go into detail as to why but we'll just leave it that it doesn't work um, so let me go over to the engine bay and then we'll pick up with um, how exactly I have it routed now this is what we're working with so just um, rerouting uh, because of how the solenoid is oriented now um, I just have it tie strapped to my homemade strut bar homemade strut bar <laughs> yeah so the ports were reversed so I pretty much have it reversed but the routing is pretty much still the same um, so we're gonna walk over to the car I'm gonna show you what the logs look like from a few runs I did last night Okay guys, so um, this one, um, 
right here it's a data log in white we have map um, in red we have rpm in green we have boost and in yellow we have duty cycle to the boost controller so this run was done with the boost controller set to zero and we're just going to look at the 5000 rpm range we see 160 kpa or about 8.8 .8 pounds of boost which is what we see in here and this one you can see 30 percent duty cycle we have 171 kpa map and we have 10.4 pounds of boost so roughly about a pound a pound and a half give or take increase with 30 percent duty cycle i did do a run also on 20 um, percent duty cycle but there wasn't much increase um what i can say is generally with the frequency set to the 30k the 30 um, hertz sorry that i had and every 10 percent increase above the starting the operating duty cycle sorry you get about a pound a pound and a a half there about increase so i also did do another log on 40 and then we we saw about another pound increase um another thing um we get some spiking i think this is mainly due well past about 6000 rpm we can see boost slowly increasing where is it right here and up to the red line we have about an extra pound pound and a half increase um this is mainly due to my wastegate setup i believe um the wastegate i have on now is a borrowed wastegate the one i had previously did not have that issue so i think it's mainly a wastegate or more than likely a in uh, exhaust manifold turbo manifold problem so we're gonna go out um we're gonna do some more playing around um probably playing the frequency a bit might lower it to 28 to see the changes and pretty much just drive around and report back saw was the car hitting boost cut um, i had on the last couple of clips i had boost duty cycle the solenoid duty cycle sorry set to about 46 kpa which gave me the violent um, cut then i lowered it down to 42 um, it tickled the boost cut once or twice during that pull so we're gonna be playing with i think i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna raise the the frequency of the solenoid back to 32 which would give um me a less sensitive um adjustment in that the higher the hertz you choose um the finer the adjustments which is what i'm looking for so we're gonna play with that over the next few days we're gonna report back um so i can safely say the boost control open loop works i um, just need some refining on with my setup anyways um yeah so it should wrap up this video it's getting a bit long um let me let me ask you guys to leave a comment down below let me know if you prefer the longer videos you prefer if i explain stuff more or do you just want the action shots and brief explanations i put i don't particularly favor any type it's just a matter of what you guys want to see um, i usually like to keep my videos around the 10 minute mark this one may go over it from all indications so let me know if you want me to do longer videos where I explain and I give you more clips, 
instead of just a synopsis or whatever you guys prefer leave a comment down below don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll catch you guys in the next one stay safe